Kovalov was serving there for us. Okay, let's back this one up. I think we're going to learn a lot on this point. This is a great one. Okay, nice return. Not that deep. So Smith decides to take that opportunity to go for a runaround forehand. Literally driving herself off the court. Look how much space is now available on this court as she drives this ball to Waters, who easily, unfortunately, it goes to her forehand, and she doesn't just block it. She powers it back. And so basically from this point, the point is over. Now, Kovalova does something great here where she gets, she sees it, gets ready and gets low, not ready enough. And the one thing that I'm going to draw this out here for us. Your teammate went all the way over here. Look where Kovalova's feet are and her position on the court. It is not a good spot. And so that's the one thing is you do have to be with your dance partner. If your dance partner moves this way, you also need to move that way. And so for this, if we're now going to be guarding the court correctly, I need Kovalova right here because the line, I'm going to change colors here, the line of this ball, this is most of the angle that she's going to be able to take, getting it on a drive. Once again, she is not dropping this ball. She didn't run around it to drop it. And so that is... This is where 80, 90% of the balls are going to go because of her angle. Most of them are going to be getting by waters. And therefore, let's now erase this. And let's look at waters. Where is her most likely place of hitting it? This is her most likely impact of the ball. Okay. And therefore, that's why this big red spot of saying okay where should she be obviously we expect smith to come back on i'll go to blue smith is going to need to cover this when she gets back in the court and if uh kovalova's feet were where the red is then she'd be able to get at least the other section of the court now as we're going to move this for i'm just going to move this forward just a little bit i'm leaving the lines on there on purpose where does the ball go? Oh, right where she should have been standing. And maybe she could have done a little bit better. But, yeah, then she just gets it back. It's a pop-up. Next one couldn't even get it back. And they even kind of got close to each other right there as they're trying to figure out, okay, where should we be going? Okay, I'm taking all the artwork off the screen. I think that is a great example of, one, the risk you take when doing a third-shot drive – and the exposure you do when you run around to do a third shot drive of your teammate and the open court. So in my opinion, the big mistake here is, one, a third shot drive is a risk, and you should take it when it makes sense. And I'm not going to go into it because we have a lot of points to go into, but if you are right-handed, I can tell you pretty much real quickly here, this zone, if you're right-handed, is basically the red dead zone. If the ball bounces there, you should not be driving that ball if you're going to run around it. 99% of the time, you should not be driving that ball with a forehand if you're right-handed. And we'll get into maybe this game, or it's obviously we've done it in other videos, in detail of why and where you should do third-shot drives and the like.